Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Rogers, and I'm going to be the instructor for this course this semester. ECL 311, Metropolitan Economic Development and Geographical Information System. What I want to do in this short video clip is give you an overview of the syllabus and the big picture items we're going to be covering this semester of this course. The syllabus can be found on Angel, and the syllabus will provide you with far greater detail than what I'm going to cover right now. So what I want to do in this video clip is just give you a big picture of what we're going to be talking about this semester in this course. And so, let me discuss the course overview. Again, the big picture item. Economic development is an essential component of local policy and governing. So we're going to define economic development and differentiate economic development from economic growth. And we're going to use the Buffalo metropolitan area as a case study of looking at different types of economic development policy. My aim is to introduce students to basic economic development theorems and commonly used measures of economic performance within the geographical information system environment. This course is going to consist of extensive reading of assigned journal articles. We're also going to manipulate secondary data, primarily census data, and we're going to use the extensive article readings as well as the secondary data sources to link the theoretical material to the modern world. Again, big picture item in terms of goals and objectives. I want to provide students with a greater understanding of the economic, political, social, and geographical forces at work that give shape to metropolitan economic development policies. We're going to use tools and techniques in economics and geography as a means of developing greater insight into metropolitan economic development policies. This course is going to be a blended course. We're going to use the traditional classroom lecture as well as online learning modules to reinforce the learning in this course. The online learning module is going to consist of three to five minute video clips to emphasize key functions of the course material. We will also from time to time have module survey questions as a means of reinforcing classroom and online learning experience and occasionally discussion forum questions as well. There is only one required textbook for this course. It is getting to know ArcGIS desktop for ArcGIS version 10. So make sure if you get the required textbook, you get the ArcGIS version 10. There are earlier versions of the textbook floating around. Again, make sure you get version 10. The grading system for this course is going to consist of three components. There will be two take-home exams. Uh, each one were 35% of the grade respectively. The second take-home exam will be due at the end of the semester and then we will have assignments throughout the semester that will be for approximately 30% of the grade. I look forward to seeing everyone in class. I'm really excited about teaching this new course as an elective in the Economics and Finance Department. Look forward to seeing everyone in a few days. Thank you.